Hey Riley Besties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today I'm really excited to be getting into how to have a more aesthetic and productive writing session. These are some tips that I really find helpful in pursuing good writing sessions where you get a lot of words done, you feel inspired, motivated, and don't feel burnt out after writing for a couple hours. If you guys enjoy the video, definitely subscribe to my channel because it does help so, so much. And if you guys wanna stay updated, of course, check out my Instagram because I post there so much especially with my new project coming out, Project Ghost, known as Ghost Side, which is the book I'm self-publishing, so definitely go check that out. I'm also really excited to be reintroducing you guys to Latix, which is an amazing writing tool, but more about them in the video. But yeah, let's go ahead and get on to how to have a productive writing session. Let's go. Okay, so this is how my brain works in pursuing a productive writing session. Basically, cleanliness equals aesthetic equals organization equals product activity. So all these different things come into the steps of having a productive writing session. And of course the first step is cleanliness. Make sure your desk is clean. This kind of really does feed into aestheticness and ensuring that your space, the place that you're going to be spending a couple hours a day actually inspires you, motivates you and allows you to have a decluttered and clear mind. So when you come to write you feel good and feel um, not stressed out at all. And an extra tip here is of course to actually style your desk and in order to style your desk you got to figure out if you're a maximalist or a minimalist. As you guys can see I love white, I love very minimal stuff on my desk because I like clarity of mind and ensuring that yeah nothing really distracts me but you might be a maximalist who likes to have a mood board maybe printed out on your wall, maybe a pile of your favorite authors um, or their books on your desk to encourage you and motivate you to write. Like it literally just depends. But I really encourage you guys to stay clean and stay aesthetic for your desk. So that's the first tip. So now that we have a clean and aesthetic desk, we can move on to organizational. So by having a clean space, you're able to actually organize your mind a lot better and actually set an intention for when you're starting to write. This is where Latix comes in in order to allow you to stay organized and on top of your writing projects. So I've actually worked with Latix in a couple of my videos before and I found that you guys found Latix extremely helpful for brainstorming and writing your books. So of course, Latix is an amazing note-taking and writing tool which allows you to freely and flexibly organize your thoughts, ideas, and writing projects. But it doesn't just have to be writing related. You can use Latex to brainstorm new assignments or to schedule your day. Latex can help you in all these different pursuits. The two main things I love about Latex is its aesthetic and flexibility to customize your own boards. Latex gives you so many different ways to express your ideas, whether that be through photos, mind maps, boards and folders. And I think Latex is especially helpful for writers because of a couple features which I actually haven't seen in any other writing tool out there. For example, there is the mind map which corresponds to all your folders which you've created. You can change the views such as going into aerial view or plot view to get a better sense of your book where you can look objectively at your progress. So through this mind map, you can actually see the visual structure of your story. Again, helping you keep organized. One other feature of many includes a board function which you can add notes and reminders in whatever page you are on. You are able to link new boards together through using the at sign, creating new folders that correspond. And this allows for efficiency when you are brainstorming your book. Additionally, in the bottom right corner, there is actually a word count goal tracker which is probably one of my favorite things about Latix. It allows you to set a deadline goal where you need to have those particular words written by a certain deadline, which is kind of scary, but extremely motivating. Again, this ties into the intention and ensuring organizational structure in your writing session. There is also another tool in the bottom right hand corner of the screen called focus mode. And this is really great if you want to just kind of focus on a particular page within your Latix. And it just kind of helps you really focus on yeah, brainstorming or writing a particular chapter, for example. And also if you go onto this little toggle, you can also switch on typewriter mode and keyboard sound, which is really cool because it actually sounds like and seems like you are typing on a real typewriter. So if you love organizing, staying on track with your word count goals, using board and mind maps to help you plan your book. I really do recommend Latix. You can actually download Latix for free today to start planning and brainstorming your book. I really think this application is super helpful, especially for beginner writers who need a space that doesn't only just offer a place to write your book and your manuscript, but also on the side to actually brainstorm your book. 
So make sure you guys click the link in the description to check out and download Latex today. And thank you so much Latex for sponsoring this video. So I really encourage you guys to actually check a sort of writing tool or writing platform in which you kind of go every single time before you start your writing session. Again, this allows you to stay organized, stay intentional with what you're actually working on and also allows everything to be in one place. So you're not getting distracted, hopping to different tabs, different applications and all that stuff. So that's why of course Latex is an amazing free option. The main thing I want you guys to do here is to set an intention, which I kind of alluded to before. Don't just sit down and write, sit down and say, like, like literally say this out loud, say, I will finish chapter four. You can even write it on a post-it note, stick it on your monitor and hopefully be able to achieve that. And of course, staying organized on top of your chapters, on top of your progress, obviously does really help you set goals and achieve those goals because if you don't set goals, how are you gonna achieve them? And if you're not staying on track of your goals, how are you gonna actually make new goals? So then of course, staying organized and actually having goals, intentions, and one space to kind of go to when writing your book, you can be more productive. So of course the last step is actually productive writing. There's a couple tips I have here, which includes using Pomodoros to actually write your book. Pomodoros are amazing. It's basically where you write for like 20 minutes and have a five minute break, then write for another 20 minutes. You can just use the timer app on your phone or on your desktop. Also music really does help. If you have a writing playlist, definitely include that in your Latex page. If you have a Pinterest page like over here, I usually keep a Pinterest page of the project I'm working on as I'm writing. So at least I have that there in the corner of my mind to kind of really dive deep into the vibe of the story because I honestly think that apart from like, you know, Pomodoro, you know, setting goals, setting intentions, it really comes down to your creative flow and actually getting into the bowels of your story. The last thing I want to say about having a productive writing session is to write with a friend. This helps immensely. It's crazy how much this helps. Um, I usually write with Ashley, Ashley Faye, or I also write with Tiana. Here are the handles. I love them so much. Um, but I love writing with my friends because it just helps you get into the creative flow. If you don't have writing friends, I have a Discord that you guys should definitely check out. Um, I definitely want to go live there a couple times. I usually jump on every now and again to actually write with you guys. So if you guys don't have any writer friends, you can FaceTime, go on Discord and find some people to write with. And the last thing, if you guys don't want to do anything like that, you can actually film yourself. I used to do this a lot in high school when I would not feel motivated to write my assignments. So I would literally put my phone on record. I usually do it on the time lapse option so I can see myself working and it just motivates me so much. I put it on the corner of my desk and I just write, write, write. Number one, you can actually be productive because you're seeing yourself work. Number two, you're actually wanting to work because you want to see how cool it looks after. And number three, you can't use your phone and get distracted because it's recording you. So there's some tips. Take what you will, um, but I hope some of these tips helped you. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you're able to be more productive in your writing sessions. This is basically the sort of process step-by-step -step guide in which I usually do when I commit to my writing sessions. And if you're still not motivated or inspired, go check out some of my writing vlogs. There's nothing more inspiring than seeing people write online. I have a whole playlist of writing vlogs, so if you guys want to check that out, definitely do. And of course, definitely check out Latex down below. Click the link in the description, please, because that would mean the world to me and it'll also help you so much. You can download it for free and it'll just help you so much with your writing processes and allow you to brainstorm a lot more aesthetically and a lot more organizationally. Is that... That's not a word, is it? Um, anyways, I love you guys so, so much. Definitely check out my Instagram if you want to stay updated because I don't know if I've mentioned in this video, but I am publishing my book. I am self-publishing ghost side which is proto ghost that you guys know so stay updated on my instagram please yeah i love you guys i hope to see you in my next writing video bye everyone